Welcome to this video on remote communications. Typically in remote communications we have a host device as well as a remote device. We usually connect these devices with some communication device on the host and the remote end. In this demonstration we're going to replace the host devices with a hard wire. This will still allow us to show the setup of the G4 remote as well as the PCCU host. Now let's get started with the theory of operation. Let's take a look at a block diagram to demonstrate the software and the hardware required. First we have in PCCU remote communication software. This software will send requests to our CPC software, Communication Port Controller. This in turn will go directly via hardware to our G4 remote device on the COM port number one. Next let's take a look at wiring and hardware. To make our hardware cable connection from the PCCU to the G4, we will use standard ABB parts. From drawing 2103080, you can see that we're going to build a test cable. We'll need a Phoenix connector, as shown here, and also our total flow cable part number, as you can see here. We're going to actually connect pin 1 to ground, pin 4 to transmit, and pin 6 to receive. The military connector side of the cable will be connected with our standard PCCU black cable. Now that we have our cable constructed, let's look at the hardware required on the G4 board for remote communications. As you can see from the diagram, we're going to need to place an RS-232 remote COM chip on this COM1 slot. To put a COM chip in the remote COM slot, number one, we'll simply take the wafer, align the chips, and place it on the board. Now that our hardware is in place, let's connect our cable. We take the Phoenix connector, as you can see, place it on the board. With the other end, we'll connect our black cable to the military plug. On the other end, we'll go to our PCCU host. Inside the G4, you will notice this chart that lists the remote communication landings. We use ground, transmit, and receive, as you can see here but others may be required using different radio devices. Let's first look at some general setup in PCCU for remote communications. We'll go to the Setup tab and we'll select Setup and we'll want to check remote communications as you can see here. Then we'll need to move to the Miscellaneous tab We'll need to check auto load local CPC and also check enable remote communications. Now let's connect to the G4 device. Go to the main menu, top level. First we're going to check our security codes and verify that those are correct. We'll do this by entering four zeros in each field and pressing send. Next we'll take a look 
at the remote comm cutoff voltage, we want to make sure we have sufficient voltage that our remote communications will not uh, be interfered. We see that we have 13 volts, which is above the 11 and a half that we have as the perimeter. Next, let's verify the ID for communications. Make sure that we know exactly what the station ID is. So we verified that. That looks good. Next, we're going to actually look at the remote COM port and verify the settings. We'll go to the Setup tab. Make sure your settings look like this. We'll go to the Advanced tab. Verify these settings also. For us to be able to use remote communication software in PCCU, we must first establish a G4 meter ID in the ID manager. To do this, we select ID manager, we establish our COM port, make the settings you see here, say OK. Next, we'll establish our COM type. If we don't have one set, We'll enter one. In this case, we'll just edit the one I have here, 9600-0. Radio determines our RS-232 status of the COM port, 9600-0. We want to use new protocol. Block size, packet size, those are all good. We say OK here. Finally, now that we've set up our COM port and COM type, we need to actually set up our G4 device and finalize it in an ID manager. So we'll select ID, go in and edit, security codes, four zeros. It is a flow computer unit, and here's our COM types and COM ports that we set up previously. Say OK there. Now we've established the ID in the ID manager. We're now ready to connect the G4 with a PCCU host. First, we select the remote communications icon at the top of the screen. This brings up our list of IDs. We'll pick our ID that we set up before. We're going to do a status poll. We'll pick status. And we're just going to place the data on the screen, as you can see here. We'll say OK. and quickly we receive our communication back with polled data. As you can see here, this is the data that's brought back with a standard poll. Let's now take a brief look at our CPC software Previously, when we launched our poll, we automatically launched a CPC. As you can see, by double-clicking on it, we get this screen. I'll press Stop, and we'll go into Setup to take a look at some of the setup in, P in CPC. This is normally already set up for you, but in case you need to make changes, here's how you would do that. COM1 is already set up for RS-232 and enabled, yes. We'll say OK here and we'll go ahead and start it again. To minimize it, as you saw in the previous demo, we'll double click on this area here, which allows us to view the activity of the CPC. Now that we've been successful in polling the meter, let's do a collection of seven days of data. We'll go to our remote icon, Select our ID, as we did before. This time we'll pick historical data. And we bring up this screen. We're going to go to the screen. And we're going to pick seven days of flow data. I'll say OK. 
And as we can see, the CPC sends a request to the flow computer, the data is returned to the CPC, and then on to PCCU, where we can view the data. There are several tools that we have that can help us determine the status of our remote communications. One, we can use an enunciator and establish it as our COM port 1, in which we can get, as you can see, this some of these indications of transmitting and receiving data, ID recognized, and listen cycle. We also can use the PCCU log to actually help us with determining what our status of communication is. So first I can establish communication with the G4. Then we'll go to the CPC and look at the indication there. And I'll press log. And we'll get the screen you see here. As you can see, we're getting statuses come across. We can also select detail log, which we get more detail about the communication. Then we can further actually select transmit and receive data to get more data. We can stop the log if we wish. Select a COM status that gives us some indications of what's going on. Also CPC usage is another report that we can look at. And finally, we can clear the log if we wish and return to the screen. Also in the startup guide, there's some troubleshooting hell for remote communications. On page 11, there's a write-up on remote communications followed by on page 12 some actual troubleshooting ideas for you. We also can find some additional help in the PCCU help files. We can go to PCCU help, type in X series, list some topics. We'll find a topic called X-Series Default Communication Parameters. This could be helpful when setting up various communication devices. It gives a list of default setup parameters for each device. In our demonstration we use the Total Flow Remote Port default settings as you can see indicated here. As we've seen in the video, remote communications between G4 and PCCU can be set up quite easily using standard ABB parts. Thanks for listening.